Well, we're right here at the Garden Tomb in Israel. Uh, this is where we started digging with my father, Ron Wyatt. Uh, when we first came here, it was full of garbage and trash and uh, broken glass, dead animals. <laughs> and uh, we, uh, my dad kind of went to the people here and he said, hey, um, I would like to clean that out for you, is how we started it. And so we cleaned it out and uh, then we sort of kept going <laughs> and we started finding pottery and uh, we found some Roman glass. And um, my dad believed that the Ark of the Covenant was in this area. Uh, we found four cross holes here, three up above over here. There's some cutouts in the rock where we think they may have placed uh, signs of, that said, like, you know, where he was crucified, the king of the Jews and the two thieves on either side. And then as we dug down, there was a big rock, a huge rock in the cave. And uh, we climbed over it every day. And uh, we started getting really sore knees and bruised up from it. And uh, so one day I tried to move it and it moved a little bit. And so I brushed it off. We always took turns. Uh, one guy would carry the buckets of rocks up and hand it to the guy on top. And so I was inside that time and dad was down further digging. And uh, I brushed the dirt off and there was a big plug in the rock. And you could tell it was stuck there. There was a crack all around it. We knew something was in it. And so I yelled at my dad to come up and take a look. And he did and we pried up this rock this plug out of the rock and inside there was a Roman coin from Tiberius's time which is the time of Christ and uh, which was very very exciting to us uh, that when we did that that was our last day on the dig that time when we were going to fly home the very next day and so we prayed about it what we should do should we just leave it there and let somebody else come in and maybe take it or whatever or not and so we prayed and uh, shortly after that very shortly we decided that if we could move it that we'd flip it over exactly in its place and just put some dirt back on it and leave it there and uh, it stayed there until last year sometime around September um, there were other people here digging uh, to see if they could find the Ark of the Covenant or the chamber that it's in and uh, somehow they hoisted it up with a bobcat with a strap and they lifted it up and they don't know what happened to it at least the last I heard um, the other three cross holes on the other side of this dig. Uh, we don't know if they're still there or if they're torn up now also. Um, we hope they're still there because um, it would mean a lot to Christians everywhere to not to not have those destroyed because it, it was it seemed just like how it's described in the Bible with a thief on each side or a murderer and a thief and, and Jesus in the middle and we're pretty much convinced this is the place where Christ was crucified and uh, and that's that's why we started digging uh, and my father did the dig to uh, the only reason he did the dig is to prove that the Bible is accurate so Christians can you know have a good foundation belief and that the Bible's true, and that's that's why my father's digging. He doesn't. He didn't do any. He wasn't doing anything for money. He was doing it to get the truth out. And the whole reason my dad got into archaeology at all was because he didn't like people how they would do away with the miracles, uh, like the Red Sea crossing site and Noah's Ark and things. You know, 
they say that the Red Sea crossing happened in the Sea of Reeds, which gets ankle deep sometimes, and that a flash flood killed all these people, the whole Egyptian army. And uh, it's just, it was ridiculous to my father, and it made him angry that people would make up things like this with no evidence whatsoever. It's just guessing <laughs> with no, seemingly no motive to think that. Um, we when dug they, many years here. When you dig here, uh, you dig the big hole, but when you found the cross hole, you have to crawl under, because the hole was not that big as you can see here today. So you have to crawl under the earth? Yes, we, we went down, straight down here, where this little dip is in the rock, and there was a handle carved out of the rock where you could put your hand in or a rope mm -hmm. and grab it. And uh, so we went straight down and we started coming over this way towards the chapel a little bit. Mm. And then we decided no, because it was all loose mm. stuff and it wasn't, um, it seemed like we found more like broken pottery and trash this way. Mm. But we went along over that way because of the three cross holes that we found. So you were crawling under the Under the earth, under the earth. yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. And yeah, we didn't have it tall enough to stand. We had to crawl and um, it was very dirty and the hole filled up with flies and mm -hmm. mosquitoes mm -hmm. and it was very hard work. <laughs> yeah. But then you did something strange. You just broke into the mountain. Yes, we went along under the ground right beside the, this mountain here. And we didn't know exactly which direction to go. And we saw some roots coming out of the actual side of the mountain, you know, which seemed very strange to us because <laughs> there, there would have to have been some chamber behind in there for a root to be coming out. And so we started prying on this crack and then a, a big hunk of rock fell out of the wall, like yeah. somebody had almost stuck it there. Yeah. And uh, inside that, you found the Tiberius coin. Yeah, inside there, which that was the second one we the found. The second one. Yeah. But actually, actually, you found that first, didn't you? Oh, Before that's right. That, yeah, that's right. Because the the fourth cross hole we found was down deep in the hole. Yeah, mm. yeah. and. Uh, so anyway, we found, he found one Tiberius coin inside the mountain. The other Tiberius coin was, like I said, in the plug in the rock to date it, because that's yeah. how they dated things. You didn't remove it. We didn't, no. We left it there. We did things carefully, you know, and made, made it neat and everything. And when we come, come back this year, we just uh, looked down in the hole and it's, uh, it's nothing like it used to be. Uh, like, like my brother said, they got a bobcat, bobcat in here and kind of, well, they tore up the They just dozed up leave. all the dirt. So it's, yeah. it's destroyed for what you have we, we think they, We think they uh, pulled the one cross hole up and they we, got thrown We away. know they pulled it up and... You saw it? But you were here the first year? Yes. It started here? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it's like uh, September 205, yeah. I believe. I was here digging with uh, two archaeological groups that had to join together to do the dig because of the Israeli Antiquities Department. Uh, they just got tired of both of them arguing about it and said, you get together and do it. 